Mario. Let's go! Let's go! Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64! And wow, you're smack bang in the middle of a battlefield! You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds! Hmm, a convenient script here. First talk to the Babom Buddy, press B to talk. This certainly help you out. And so will his comrades in other areas, despite the fact there's only two in this level. To read signs, stop and face them and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B! That's pretty much the sign thing you told us in the last part, but sure, okay. Well, shall we go through who we can meet in this world? Okay, first of all, let's meet one of our major allies of the game, the Babom Buddies. This was their first appearance, and they will appear in every single level that you go to, the main ones, that is. In the, each level, they will set up a cannon for you. This cannon, you can jump in, have complete control over, and fire at any other points. They have no other use, but they are needed for the cannons. Now we have their counterparts, the normal Babons. These guys are black, those guys are red, so you can tell the difference quite easily. These ones will chase after you and explode. They will cause quite a bit of damage. However, this can be turned on them, because you can pick them up and throw them at other enemies, thus making them your own weapon. Next up, we have something very special, the only chain chomp within the entire game. Um, he has a very, very small role. He will stand and guard a gate to where one of the stars are. He um, will basically help you out in one of the levels, but he will also attack you. None of the others appear in this. He's the only chain chomp. Now, everyone is going to know this character. This is the Goomba, Mario's first ever enemy that he came across. They appear in several places within the game. They act exactly how they do in the originals. They run towards you, you jump, you squash them. That's basically the way of doing it. Except this time, of course, you can punch them as well. Sometimes they'll run away from them if you scare them enough. Finally, we have another classic enemy, the Koopa Trooper. Now, believe it or not, the Koopa Trooper cannot hurt you at all. They are complete cowards. They will run away if you go anywhere near them. But if you jump on them, you can steal their shell. And then you can go surfing around into it, run into them, and collect a nice five coins. Right, let's head off. Hello there. Talk to me. Watch out! If you want to run here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. These enemy bombs love to fight. They're always finding ways to attack. Like, blowing up, maybe. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big Babom got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big Babom. Please come back when you see me after you retrieve the power star. You can't actually do that, but okay. What about you? Hey, you! It's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for the falling water bombs. The bigger bomb is at the top of the mountain. It's very powerful. Don't let him grab you. That sounds wrong. We're the bomb buddies, and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you'd like to. Oh, I don't want to. Hello, Mr. Goomba. And you can squash him just like in the original games. You have to say, this transition unbelievably well from 2D to 3D. Meet the Chain Chomp, the only Chain Chomp in the game, I might add. And the bridge. Let's walk up there, let's jump, and there. Oh, another new move that we can go through. If you grab these guys... Come on, let me... Fine, explode on me! There are, those are our water bombs. These dangerous bombs of death that will soak you. Okay, press B and dive and you can grab these guys. Then you can throw them at others. You can kill enemies this way as well. So yes, another cool way that Nintendo came up with that you interact with Mario's world. Now we're going to head up this big mountain. It takes quite a while, unless you know a certain little trick which I'm going to show you today. Jump over these cannonballs, or don't, because it goes past you. And we're going to go up here, hello. See this little hole in the wall here? First little hint I can give you. It's a wall. Takes you right to the top of the mountain, and we can face off with a big bomb right away. Jump here, and... Hello there. 
Well, now we have the first major enemy of the game, the Big Babom, also sometimes called King Babom or even Baron Babom. I don't know. He's very weak. He can't hurt you, but he will pick you up and throw you around. Not even that hurts you. He's very easy to beat. After all, he's the first star in the game. I'm the Big Babom, Lord of all blasting matter, King of Kabooms, the World Over. How dare you scale my mountain? Or what right you set foot on my Imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario! <laughs> if you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle! Can you pick me up on the back and haul me to the royal top? I think that you cannot! Uh oh, they're under attack. Oh, well, he's very slow. Now, the technique I just showed you with the bombs is in fact this guy's biggest weakness, because of the fact that he's so slow and the fact that he can be picked up fairly easily and just sneak up behind him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. And you hit me, and voila, we have him. And down you go. Let's go around around in circles to make it easy. Or jump over. Okay, that didn't work. Now, if he does grab you, you've got to be warned. He will throw you a fair distance. See? Look at that! And if you get thrown off the mountain, you have to start this battle all over again. So try not to do that. Fortunately, he can't actually hurt you. He's weaker than his own minions. Something I'd like to point out there. Why put him in charge? Also, he doesn't explode. Explain that one. Maybe that is why they put him in charge. The other ones just kept exploding. We need something that might be a bit more permanent. Hello, we're going to beat you now. Three hits is the magic number. Three hits is likely to beat everyone. And towards the camera, too. Whoa, what? Can it be that a pesky like you has to fuse the Babong King? You might be fast to ground me, but you have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops can learn a lesson from you. Here is your stars I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select your star from the menu. For now, Aw, isn't that nice? He's lonely and wants to see us again. We're not going to, trust me. And we have our first magical little star. Just one step closer to getting that cake. Coins! A miracle. Let's save and continue. You recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting the Womp's Fortress on floor one, despite the first time players would not know which room that is. Bowser's troops are still gaining power. You can't give up! Save us, Mario! Keep searching for the stars! I think these are the people talking within the walls. But actually, we're going to keep going back in here. Because there is five out of the six stars of this world that we can get right now. Hey, you very good! See you next time!